As far as how the device works, um, the key components, if you think of the Sabaflex as a wrist hand finger orthosis that has springs that help reopen the hand, the neurological patient typically has their hand presented in a tight fist position. Most chronic stroke survivors or brain injury patients um, exhibit finger flexion and thumb flexion accompanied with wrist flexion. And their hand is typically uh, tight. We call that hypertonicity and they oftentimes have soft tissue shortening and contracture. So with those patients, they have a hard time extending their hand and wrist to engage in a functional task. And as humans, we're biased in, flesh, in flexion. So when we go to pick up objects, we usually use our elbow flexors or we use our finger flexors. We do not use our elbow extensors or our finger extensors to carry objects. So as humans, we're biased in flexion. Well, the goal of this device is how can we allow a patient to be able to extend their hand, to reach for a functional object, grab the object, transfer it, and then relax their tight finger flexors so the object will drop in the desired location. So when you put the device on and you have them reach for an object, they have the ability to grasp or squeeze. What they don't have the ability to do is reopen. So the spring system will help the patient reopen their fingers and thumb so they can drop the object in the desired location. And that's exactly what the research supports. The research supports the ability to do repetitive, task-specific training with the involved limb. And individuals that have mild impairments can do that without a device. But for a majority of the neurological population that have suffered a brain injury or stroke, they do not have that ability. So that device can help them as a catalyst to take an object, transfer it, and let go of the object. And that's where you start to see the reorganization in the brain, as well as the improvements in the overall arm function.